What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Another day in paradise. Wanted to show you my setup real quick before I pack it up. Not the flattest campsite, but it's not too bad. Got the tent here. What's inside? Sleeping bag, foam mat, my pillow with no air in it, food pot, charging stuff, and my fanny pack with my toothbrush and stuff. Alright, let's strip it down. Classic. Got some oats. This is my leftover food. I pre-packed some oats and this is actually rice for the trip. Just have like a little bit extra, but you know, don't need it now. This is the last day. Got like probably 500 grams of sugar, a bit of overkill, but I forgot to, you know, like plan how much I needed. Barbecue shapes, bread. So it's eight o'clock. Getting out of here soon, probably. Probably not, let's be real. Can never get out of here early. Oh my god, Johan had some chips left over. I'm definitely gonna eat these guys. Is that bad? So we're about ready to roll out. I thought I'd give you a quick hut tour before we do. So, as usual, two water tanks. This one tastes better at the moment. Fill her up. This is, I don't know what this area is for, honestly. Like, I don't know, I feel like you'd be better off just with more picnic tables. Bunks. Bunks. Food box. Trial books. Picnic tables. So maybe about 3Ks from the hut, south. Prepare yourself for a brutal climb. Like, over a kilometre it's got to be. Just up, up, up. Steep too. It was a lot. Could this be considered a landmark? Some mining tunnel? I guess the trucks go over it. Woohoo! Right, so we just had a quick snack break at this spot. Check it out. Actually such a sick spot to camp. Nice and open look. No trees above your head. Alright, we'll continue for another hour or so. Coming through this tunnel. Remember last time coming through here. Fuck, I shouldn't go on this side. Too late. Another one of those points where you go through the mining gates. It's good that they open it up for cyclists, I suppose. Let's continue. We're starting to get variation in terrain. Way less pea gravel today. I mean, obviously just in the morning, but now we've got nice sand. Nice hard packed sand. This will give you an idea of how steep it is. Pretty hard just to go straight up. There's some mining operations for you. I actually remember this spot last time I came through. Looks like they might be revegetating some of it. That's good. Another tunnel. Cruising through. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> There's a cool wind blowing through the trees. When it's quiet, you can hear some of them creaking, which is quite cool. I've been out for about two hours now, almost. Feeling all right. Just my knees a bit sore still. Alright, so we made it to Lake Brockman Tourist Park. There's a reroute and you go around like the other side of the lake. It's probably, I don't know, it's like the east side maybe. It's uh, very much corrugated and rough. And then the, like, um, down on the other side. Down on the other side, yeah. So take a look at this. Down on the lake. Been at the cafe, had some wedges as you saw. Nice little spot to relax on the deck there. Gonna have a swim, finish this tour up. All right guys, and just like that, flick of fingers and I'm back home. Got a lift with Johan's parents. Don't have the time to keep touring, wish I could, but I'm working, so what can you do? Saving money for the next big 
adventure, I suppose. I'll see you in the next one, guys.